What's the deal? It's boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Shout out to everybody subscribing to the channel. We must get this channel to 5,000 subscribers, man. I'm putting in that work. Even in the hot sun out here, I'm out here working, man. You know what I'm saying? It's 200 degrees out here. I was burning up. But um, yeah, today's video is going to be about how much, how much blame does hip hop take for the downfall or the issues going in the black community? Like, how much blame does hip hop take? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, what's the percentage? You know, as uh, far as everything negative and wrong with the black community, where does hip hop play its role in that? Um, and for me, I would say hip hop takes about 20% of the blame. Ah, oh, that's kind of too high. About 15, 10%. Because at the end of the day, now I don't know, because you got to look, let's go through all the issues, okay? You got gang violence. How much can gang violence be put on hip hop? I would say, because the parents is, is the big reason why there's so much violence. And the single moms and all the other bullshit. Niggas, nobody doesn't want to pinpoint that in the black community that is the parenting from mother and father. Niggas is like, it's just the black moms. Where, they, where are these black men and these black fathers at? Where are they at? Do you know what I'm saying? Why ain't these men putting in more work to get their kids? Why are these guys, if the moms are so bad and they're all this and all that, you know how we talk about black moms on, on YouTube. Where are the dads at? Put up the money to get lawyers and get their kids. There's no excuses. We all can get the Jordans and the, the, the new car and the rims. We all can get that stuff. But where is the guys putting up the bread? Because we can get custody of our children. It's mother and father. Fathers, if the mom ain't nothing and all the other stuff, why can't the dad do it? And everybody got so many excuses. Well, this happened, well, this happened. If you really want it in life, it can happen. That's what everything, especially when you want to get custody of your kids. If you want to do it, it can happen. Especially these women are so bad off as we say they are. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all, black moms get destroyed on YouTube. Look at all these pages on black women. And black people, we're the only ones who sit around and talk bad on one another. The only race that does that. There's no other race out there that's on the internet. There's no You don't see an Indian channel saying the, the bad thing about Indian women. You don't see like a Spanish channel, this is what's wrong with Spanish women. It's always us. And if... A, a race is, another race is talking about their women They're just saying modern day women They're not just putting a race on it We put an actual stamp on it Now hip hop far as like, like gang violence I feel like they make it cool Okay without hip hop it wouldn't be cool But you gotta look People were banging in the 70s Hip hop didn't come out until like the late mid 80s So there's a, 10 to, there's, a, there's a 10 year to 20 year gap Where there's no hip hop And guys are still on reckless stuff That's what I think People want to say hip hop helped with the drug game. You got to think in the in the seventies, people were listening to jazz. They were listening to the blues, a bunch of old music, Motown, the Temptations, and guess what the number one uh, narcotic on the streets was? It was uh, that boy, that H. <laughs> it was the number one ingredient or the number one uh, narcotic on the street. So in the seventies and the sixties, where people were, there was no hip hop. People were still up to no good. You know what I'm saying? I'll say it's more so propaganda. There's a lot of issues than hip hop, but I say hip hop does make being part of a brotherhood, a street, a, a street oriented brotherhood, is I, it seems like the uh, hip hop has made it to where made it more cool. Okay, so without it, there put it like this, their memberships wouldn't have increased over years. It have been seen or deemed as a uh, whack right now. If it wasn't hip hop around. Uh, being part of a, a street oriented brotherhood that represent colors would be deemed whack by now but hip hop helped keep it through the years because that's just anything anything in life gets whack everything in life everything in life is going to have a time where it's not cool anymore everything everything y'all think how much stuff changed now look how much cell phones has changed only a few things can last through the, te the test of time and some things need help and I feel like street oriented uh, brotherhoods would not have made it through the test of time from the 70s to the 60s, through the 90s, 80s, early 2000s, to the 2010s, to the 20. Right now, you can see that there's a, a, a fluctuation of guys in the media speaking about this brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? So um, I feel like hip hop does play a role in keeping that alive. And as uh, far as the narcotic game selling uh, illegal substances on the streets, I feel like hip hop pay, played a, a major role in that as far as influencing it. You know, um, because like I said, without it, people did it in the 70s and 80s, especially in the 80s. Think about it. There was no hip-hop music 
in the 70s and 80s and it was still ratchet. Like I said, I really think gang, um, bro street oriented brotherhoods and the sale of narcotics on the street, illegal substances on the streets was carried throughout the years through hip hop. Think about the Young Jeezy era. Young Jeezy had a huge influence on uh, young kids. But it all goes back to the parenting. See, if we don't have good parenting to keep us away from this music and keep our character aligned, our morals in line, we're, they're going to be an issue to where the kid is going to be really influenced by those things. You know, um, also, uh, you got to look at it where um, uh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> but uh, uh, like I said, even with the good parenting, kids can still be influenced by it. But they are more so influenced by going to school and being influenced by other kids who don't have the good parenting. Y'all know y'all always seen it where there's one kid who has everything made for him and then they go out and do a bunch of stuff that gets them incarcerated. So with these people out there who are like that, most of the time when they get involved in these such lifestyles, it's because their friends and people out there who are around is involved in it and they see them and it's cool. You know what I'm saying? And they're getting picked on about having this good lifestyle. And that comes from the hip hop culture. I think hip hop started out something really good as far as uplifting the people, but it slowly turned into um, something negative. And I think that it was always meant to be something negative. And all those guys who started out with the fight, the power stuff were just ways to reel you in and get your eyes on them. Cause you got to, in order to manipulate anybody, you always got to come off positive to them. So to build your trust with them, you got to come out positive and giving and nice. And then you show them the, the negative side of you. Now when they see that negative side, they got this perfect image of you. They're going to be more in line and more inclined to follow the, the, the negative stuff that you're doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how it goes. You know what I mean? So I really do think that fight the power, uh, unity hip hop era was all fake because all those guys were all tied to another different type of brotherhood, not a street oriented brotherhood, but it was tied to a more of a uh, secret society brotherhood. And a lot of those rappers like your your, your Queen Latifahs and Flavor Flaves and uh, Public Enemy Number Ones, all those are controlled ops, you know, run DMCs, all those guys is with it, you know, um, your KRS Ones, your African Bombardas, all those guys were tied into those, uh, to those secret societies. So I do think that they started out positive, but they had all intent of turning negative. You know, that's just my, my conspiracy of it. But I feel like all in all, I put most of the blame on the black community as being bad parenting, laziness, bad. We can't, and I, that's why I give hip hop only 10%. Because at the end of the day, you got to be a better parent. We need better parenting in, in the black community. We need more stand-up individuals on male and female side. We got to get our kids and we got to raise them and we got to become better examples for them. That's one thing that we don't ever talk about, being the best example. We all try to tell the black, the, the kids, at least this mentality in our neighborhoods that you must don't be like me, but be better than me. But still watch me be this plain, non-goal achieving person. You know what I'm saying? And we see that a lot. Like we just see our parents never achieve a goal in their life. They just, or they just die a bill payer. You know what I'm saying? And some of them don't even pay bills. You know, they just, you know, they don't even earn the money for them. They just get assistance. And they just die bill payers. And they all constantly tell us, hey, don't be like me. Be better than me. That's just their excuse to be lazy, you know. And they're not setting examples or going out achieving anything. So I do feel like the biggest issue in the black community has to deal with the parenting. It all starts there because the parenting. And then if you we can say 60% 60, 60 parenting, 10% propaganda, hip-hop, all that, 10% um uh, the government and uh, we'll say 15% the government and putting up hurdles in front of us and now we're left with um we had what 60 20 now we're left with a 15% of uh, I'll just put that as other you know what I'm saying other issues outside of those are the ones in that 15% that's causing that issue so 60% parenting 10, uh, now I would say 70% parenting and 10% each other one hip hop culture propaganda government putting up hurdles and other 10% each because most of the time you got we I feel like black people we don't take enough blame ourselves and we gotta point the finger at the white man we gotta point the finger at the hip hop music we gotta point the finger at everybody else except the finger at ourselves that we're just lazy belligerent non-willing group of people hard to get along with angry small minded don't be thinking people and we just gotta look at our people and say we just we just messed up right now y'all gotta do better Y'all gotta get y'all yourselves right. Go get therapy or something. Go get your health right. Go to church. 
Learn something. Stop making excuses. Take accountability. Look at your people. Like, we, we, that's, I think that's probably been our main issue for years. Yeah, we will never take accountability. If you look at our people, we'll never say, hey, man, get off your, your, your get off your, your behind, man. Get up. Do something. I'm about to get some points. Ah. When I run over something, I get points. If I run over a can in the street, I just run over a cold stone cup. I, I'm, I'm making my goal, like, to run over any can I see. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, get up and go do something. Go be productive. Y'all y'all just want to sit around, go to work. Hey, I went to work today, man, so be productive, man. You know what I'm saying? And I catch myself in these situations. I'm like, dang, I'm lazy. <laughs> I don't want to do nothing. Why am I like this? You know what I mean? And it comes from, I looked at how I was raised. You know what I mean? Like, just situations. See, see what I seen when I grew up. You know what I mean? Like, those situations do that to us. You know what I mean? So that's what I mean by that. Like, we got to start taking accountability somewhere as a, as a group. And yeah, I do feel like hip-hop has a really negative, negative thing on our society. Influence. If you're an adult and you're letting hip hop control how you dress and look on, uh, in your day to day life, that's your fault. You know what I'm saying? Now, on influence and culture, hip hop takes 100%. Now, I say on influence and culture of the black community, it takes 80% on that. Because our culture is lost. We don't even sit down in Big Mama House on Sundays no more. All of us, whatever's on the radio, we copying it. All our women do the same stuff. I, I feel like our men do it. It's about 50 50 on both sides. We want to talk about women copying this. I always like to look at the men and point out where we're going wrong. Because I, I can't vouch for women. I can't tell y'all what the hell y'all doing wrong. I'm not a woman, so I don't know. But I can look and go off the substance of it, like the bird's eye view or the glass, or outside looking in from a perspective of a man to a woman. But for our men, we do just as much as copying from the TV as women do. Just as much. All y'all had man purses last year. Why you got? I'm about to run over a bottle. I missed it. Did I get it? I did get it. Okay. I'm about to run over something else. I, I go through this parking lot. There's always some trash. I'm about to run over something else. This is what I do, y'all. No life. That's when you get old. You get enjoyment out of running cans over in the street. And I'll be out here looking for them. If you hit a squirrel or an animal, that is a, you get more points. Don't hit no dog or nothing, man. That, oh, there's a plate. Ah. Did I get them? Dang, I missed them. Anyways, man. But, um, I right, piece of man English. But, uh, yeah, man, black people got to take some accountability somewhere at some time. We got to, you know what I'm saying? And we got to look at it that way, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I love my culture the way it is, but I feel like we, I can care less what we're doing, you know? Oh, there's a cup. I'm about to get it. Mm. Got him. Where'd it go? I know I got hurt it. Yeah, I got him. But, um, yeah, man, we got to look at it like that as a people, bro. That's what we got to look at as a people. We got to start taking some accountability. You know what I'm saying? And fellas, we just as copycat as women when it comes to hip-hop culture, copying all their swag and all their negative stuff. You know, hip-hop take a, a big influence on the culture. I, but as far as our community and our issues, 10% of the problem. 10%. <laughs> all right? But this is more than the Women Clan TV, man. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. I'm out.